Hi, welcome back to your study skills project. This is week 10 and I'm going to teach you how to turn your outline into a really nice Google Slides presentation. Let's look and see what we've got to do this week. This is task eight. Today we're going to review the features of a good presentation, look at how to make a Google Slides presentation, and transfer information from our outline to our Google Slides presentations. So here's the travel poster again. Remember, you're making this presentation to persuade or convince the travel club that your destination is the best one. So make sure it looks interesting and that it's easy to follow and clear. We're looking at the marks where this is task eight and you get 10 marks for this presentation. The presentation should be easy to understand. It should have no errors in spelling or grammar and it should have nice clear pictures and follow some other rules we'll talk about. So there are some presentation do's and don'ts that you can review on your own. There's a video that will tell you exactly what you were looking for in your slides. Um, it tells you what makes clear slides and what makes unclear slides. And you'll see some differences between bad slides and good slides. Uh, please follow those rules when you're making your slides. So in Google Slides, I think you probably already know what you're doing when you're editing a Google Slideshow, but there's a how-to video on Google Slides that you can watch to remember a few of the tips and the tricks that you need to make a nice Google Slides presentation. Uh, you can do this on the computer version or the phone version, and if you have an iPhone, you can also open the computer version in Safari by going to slides.google.com in Safari. So let's take a look at our outline to presentation. Really what you're doing, you have a nice outline, you're going to put your outline into some Google Slides. It's already organized for you, you have all the language there, so it should be an easy process. Okay, so here's what we're doing. First, I've got my outline, that was my last task. You can see all of the parts are filled out. I've got everything here that I need, the information and the images. And I'm gonna take that information and make something like this, this presentation with all of the information there but I'm starting with this one, just an empty presentation. So I need to think a little bit about the design and how I wanna do this. Your notes are organized in a way that will help you a lot. Every part is named slide one, slide two, slide three. It tells you exactly what information needs to go on which slide. And your job is to get all of this information onto a slide together and make it look good and be easy to read. Here I've got slide one, slide two, slide three, slide four, slide five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So altogether I'm going to have twelve slides and I need to make sure that the information on each slide is organized well. My first slide is my title slide. I'm going to put this information, my title, and this nice flag on it. Now I'm moving to slide two. This is the outline of my presentation and I've got an image here for it too. So let's work on that. I'm gonna copy this, make a new slide. And I think I'll delete where it says attraction one, attraction two, attraction three. That's good information for me, but not really for my audience. Next one, slide three proposal. Slide four, this is my overview. I can see I have one, two, three parts here, so I need to think about first one, geography and climate, second one, wildlife and adventure, and the third one, maybe midnight sun and northern lights. So let's take a look at three.
And now I can start looking at my attractions. Remember, I don't need all of this information. This can go in my notes. What I need is the basic information and I need the images. I'm moving through my presentation and making new slides. If I need information in my speaker's notes, I can show my speaker notes and I can put information down here. I can see these if I'm using remote for slides. If your teacher has that set up, you can use it. So here I'm maybe going to put this information down in my speaker notes. So it's down here and I can think about that while I'm giving my presentation. So now I'm working on my slides. I have got five done. I need seven more to go. I think you see how it's going. I'm thinking about the organization of the information and how to get good images on my slides, but you can see it still doesn't look very exciting. So let's do a different theme. I can come over here and choose this theme. That maybe looks good, but it's not very cheerful. I can choose this theme. Mm, I think the colors don't go very well. Then when you're finished and you have put all of your information onto each slide of your presentation and you have played with the design until you have it how you like it, you have put in some speaker notes down here if you want to use them on uh, the remote system, then you will have something that looks like this. This is the same slideshow as the one I made here, but I've just made it prettier using different colors and different fonts, but it's still clear and easy to see and it will make a good presentation. It's your turn now. You're going to make your own presentation using Google Slides. You are going to first watch the video about do's and don'ts when you're making a presentation, good presentations and bad presentations. That's inside your project map. You are going to review how to use Google Slides and how to edit, add images, move things around. And then you're going to start moving everything from your outline into your Google Slides. So when you get done, you'll have a nice, well-organized presentation that you can practice speaking and giving. You'll use your speaker notes for that. That's it, that's it for the week. Best of luck to you. Please let your teacher know if you have any questions. Um, and I hope that you have a nice presentation when you're done.